Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to pass a hip on your first try. You have three attempts to pass a hip. So what is a hip? A hip is the certification that is required for you to sell Medicare Advantage and drug plans. It's regulated by CMS, Centers for Medicare and Medicaid. So you definitely want to pass AHIPs because most carriers will not let you certify if you don't pass AHIP. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you how to pass on the first try. You do have to pass with the 90, but don't let that scare you because you definitely can pass. So let's talk about how AHIP is structured. So AHIP is broken down into five different modules. Each module is like a chapter, but it has like different chapters within that module. So it's broken down into five different modules. So it's very important for you to structure your studying with these five different modules. I recommend that you organize everything. I have everything in a binder. So when I do a hip, I print out all the materials and I put them in a binder. After you study for every module, you will have a quiz attached to that module. All the quizzes combined in one is the actual final exam. So if you do well on each of the quiz, then you should be able to pass the final exam. Now what I recommend is that you take each module, you study them on its own. So at the end of each quiz, you definitely wanna take note of all of those questions because like I said, those are the questions in the final exam. So how do you organize a hip? All right, so the first thing you want to do is break down the five modules and a index card like this. So each module is classified on this index card so that way so that way I know where the information is if I wanted to use my modules while I'm taking the exam. Now remember, the exam is time, so you don't have a lot of time to be looking for any information. So that's why it's very important to really study each module and know the quiz questions and answers. So here is how I classify each five module on this index card. So as you can see, module one covers Medicare Part A and B, Medigap, which is supplement plans. Module two covers Medicare Advantage. Module three covers drug plans. Module four covers marketing and appointments. Module five covers enrollment rules. So like I said, I like to organize everything before I take and study for the actual AHIP certification. I like to take notes, I like to highlight and things like that. So this binder has all the information for module one and I keep a lot of notes in here on the quiz as well for module one. Same thing here for module two. All of the information for module two is in this binder right here. All of my notes, all the highlights and everything, and all the quiz information is in this booklet right here. Now we have module three, the same thing, I'm not gonna repeat it. <laughs> we also have module four, same thing. And we also have module five, same thing. So that's how I pass a hip on the first try. I have everything organized. I read everything, I highlight areas, and that helps me pass the final exam on the first try. So that's how you pass a hip on the first try. What about using a hip as a resource after passing the certification. Well, since you have all of the modules already organized in binders, you can go back and answer questions that clients may have or questions you may have by just going back to your binder. You look at your postcard 
and you kind of decide where that information can be like a question on a drug plan or a question on Medicare supplements, which is the Medigap plans, right? You could go back to your module, read that information as another resource to help you become a Medicare expert. You may have questions after being certified, such as, am I allowed to door knock? Well, that answer is an A help. You could go back and look at your marketing rules. When are you supposed to do the scope of appointment? Well, go back to A help. It's there under appointments. So those are the things that you can utilize a HIP certification for after you have become certified. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. If you are subscribed, hit the notification bell as well. So when I pop through, you're like, there go my girl. So anyways, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Ha <laughs> ha